Happy Halloween, everyone. This is an Exodia FTK deck profile. So you've probably already seen a profile like this on YouTube, but I have these cards too, and I thought I'd just contribute my version of this deck, even though it is pretty standard. Um, I've only pulled off all five pieces of Exodia in my hand once, and that was playing Solitaire by myself. I know this deck can accomplish that, but um, it's actually pretty hard to build this deck consistently and to play this deck consistently, even though it is very straightforward. Uh, honestly, I would never take this deck to locals. Instead, I would take... Um, the last deck that I did, Sky Striker, or even the next profile, which I'm going to do, which is going to be Budget Heroes. Both of those would, would be more, even if you draw a bad hand with Budget Heroes, you're still going to be able to play the game. If you don't successfully pull off the OTK in the first turn, uh, it's going to be pretty much impossible to win the game. Um, so uh, this Exodia deck is actually impossible to play online because you either accomplish the FDK or you scoop if you don't, and the opponent really doesn't want to stick around for all of that. Uh, as always, this deck does lose to Ash Blossom and loses very hard to Droll and Lockbird, but uh, even though, like I said, it, it's it's difficult to, to play and to build it consistently, uh, it's still very cool. So this is going to be a quick profile because it is uh, pretty straightforward. So uh, two Royal Magical Library, only two of this because it bricks at three, but, you know, putting a spell counter every time you, you activate a spell, and then uh, as a not once per turn, draw one card, and then this, in, in uh, addition to the field spell, you can draw multiple cards. This is pretty important to see in the opening hand, but having double of them, I don't run double summon, so um, it, it's pretty rough at more than one because you want to see more spells in your hand. Uh, so the five pieces of Exodia. Got one common here, but for the most part, this is all LLB. Uh, you want to be seeing these cards, ideally. I mean, this is just how you win the game here. Uh, so two Blue Eyes Toon Dragon and one Blue Eyes. So uh, this third one could be Toon Dragon. I just don't have a third Toon Dragon. It doesn't matter too much, but in the worst situation where you actually open two Blue Eyes Toon Dragon and you also draw that Toon Table of Contents, you will have... You can, draw, you can search Toon World, but this would be another option if this was another Blue Eyes. But this is just in here for trading. It's really not, it's fine like this. Um, but uh, this is just so you can, you know, get that Allure of Darkness style, uh, Destiny Draw style, uh, you know, two for two trade. Three into the Void, which is pretty much Upstart Goblin in this deck, because, you know, if you discard at the end phase, you already lost the game anyway. So this is just draw one more card and activate that spell. Uh, three Magical Citadel of Endymion, so... Uh, this is how you can activate your... If you activate three spells with this and Magical Library on the field, it counts as two draws instead of one. It is a once per turn, so having three of these is nice, so you can um, activate another one and then go into the same... Uh, it's not a hard once per turn, so you can still activate more than one uh, in the same turn. Uh, three Magical Mallet to unbreak your hand. I do run a couple more Mulligan cards, but this is just uh, if you draw too many pieces of Exodia too early and you can shuffle them back. Uh, three trade in for the blue eyes, so this is just for that uh, that draw power. Uh, three Toon Table of Contents, as well as one Toon World. So you can search the Toon Blue Eyes with the third one. So one searches second, second searches third. Search the Toon Blue Eyes or search the Toon World. This counts as a spell too. So there's a few options there, and uh, you know it just depends if you have trade in your hand or if you need one more spell for your uh, magical library. So the Bamboo Engine, uh, three Golden, two Cursed one broken so um because this is at three this is the standard amount of this this is the very typical engine for bamboo um so you're trying to dump this card with foolish burial goods to search this card and then you hope to draw this card uh so you can equip your royal magical library with with broken bamboo sword and then draw into golden bamboo sword so that's typically what it what what how it's done there that's why i do run the uh, the next card two foolish burial goods which i will get to momentarily so, um, dump, uh, yeah, Broken Bamboo Sword. That's pretty much the only reason this is in here. Uh, not too much else, but it does help the consistency of seeing the, uh, the combo of actually Golden plus Broken or Golden plus Cursed in your hand. Uh, so you can draw those two cards. Uh, one Hand Destruction, which again, uh, unbricks your hand. Only one of this. I've seen builds at more than one. Um, a lot of times you don't have two cards to discard. Um, so it, it, I feel like Magical Mallet or Reload is preferable. So I do want run the one Reload as well. Um, yeah, just Mulligan cards right here. One Wonder Wand. So this is the absolute last resort strategy. If you really don't have any more ways to activate spells or draw cards, uh, you just tribute your Royal Magical Library for two more cards. This can come in handy. 
uh, one day apiece, perfect in this deck. It doesn't matter what your opponent draws. Upstart Goblin, again, like Into the Void, these cards are just the best draw spells for this kind of a deck. And then Terraforming uh, to search the uh, the field spell, the Endymion field spell. And that's pretty much the deck profile. Just a couple more cards that I was thinking about, including uh, two more reloads, two more hand destruction, and third Royal Magical Library. Um, you know, you could, you could bump, I wouldn't put this in here. You could bump another reload. That's not a terrible option. Uh, so another Wonder Wand that uh, could work as well. Uh, if you ran Double Summon, I, I, my Double Summons are not with me right now, but uh, you could absolutely run Double Summon plus a third Royal Magical Library, uh, as well as two White Stone of Legend and two Cards of Consonants as well. So this is similar to trade-in, same kind of um, ratio of what you're discarding, what you're activating, and what you're drawing. So this is just to, to thin the deck and to keep going with your Exodia play. And uh, that's pretty much it for the Exodia deck profile, the FDK. Uh, happy Halloween again. And uh, the next video, like I said, is going to be Budget Heroes. And I got a cool, uh, couple cool uh, more profiles after that. So thanks for watching. Have a good one.